Hello everybody. Uh, this is our first show of 2023 and the Jury's Art Quilters have pulled together a very eclectic, interesting group of work. Um, there are 10 artists that have been together for about 15 years and their work is original and uh, unique and they explore textile design and mixed media. So you're gonna see a real variety of things and all the pieces are for sale. So I'll start with this first one. This is Lily's and it's by Betty Jenke. It's 31 by 36 and it is $150. And I think what's really interesting about this one is she's done a little beadwork also. And then this next one is called Gearing Up, and it's by June Yeager, who does a lot of fusing um, to create the layers of, in her design. So all those pieces have been fused um, on top of each other. And it's 20 by 29, and it's 250. And this Going Home is another one of June's, and she started this work in a, a workshop she was taking on deconstructive printing. And she ended up uh, using a credit card, uh, a brush to create the textures that you see in the foreground. This is Going Home 22 by 42, and it is $460. Then this top one up here is Red Willow, and it's one that I made. It's 24 by 16 and a half, and um, I had taken a photograph of red willows before they leafed out in the spring, and I just couldn't get enough of them. And so I did a fused piece, and then I finished the edges with satin stitch, and it is 325. This next one is by Martha Sanders and it's called uh, Walk in the Badlands and it's 30 by 39. And she um, has done some surface design also on her piece. There's some painting and hand stitching embroidery. Um, so once I find I was kind of drawn into that yellow area and then I started seeing all these little decorative things that she's done. And this piece is um, 30 by 39. I think I just said that, but, and it is 900. Then this next series is that are all framed. She's pulled the um, quilted pieces around a frame and they're all done by Helen Brisson. The top one is called Crocs Cut sunsets and it's 12 by 24 and though you see those two uh, square pieces they are finished separately and then added to that pieced background and we call those quiltlets <laughs> and this piece is 124 and she was into working with red and did a series so the next one is called red is red it's 12 by 12 and it is 50. And she does a lot of work with her long arm and then she turns around and does a lot of hand stitching and you can really see it in that piece. Then the next piece says the many faces of copper. It's 18 by 24 and it is 200, but she's finished um, all those layers of uh, pieces in here separately. So you see there's um, three layers and then done a lot of stitching on the uh, background fabric to kind of re-emphasize um, the mixture of color. And she really was thinking about how copper can turn so many different colors. And I think this piece is really interesting. Very textual feeling. Then uh, this next artist is um, Judy Beaver, and this is called Dreaming in Technicolor, 
and Judy creates all her own fabrics. So she has um, dyed and then stenciled um, on her fabrics and then the uh, kind of red violet area up there towards the top has been um, stitched over the top of her background pieces. But this one is 31 and a half by 34 and it is $1,100. And Judy has really been making a big splash in the quilting world and getting in a lot of shows and um, winning prizes. So we're really proud of her. And this next piece is also Judy's and it's called uh, Jewels in the Haystack. It's 32 by 42 and a half and it is 1600. And, you know, I, I just feel on this piece, she was so brave the way she used that really deep, deep indigo color. But how she's pulled it around with the thicker lines and the thin and thinner lines really works for me. Okay, and the next one is Fight or Flight. It's 33 by 33. Oh, I think we did something wrong on that, on the tag. There's no way it's 33 by 33. Um, I think it's probably 33 long, but more like 20 inches wide. Um, and it is 650. It was done by June Yeager, and she did deconstructive printing, and then she did a lot of painting. Um, she really likes using the inks and um, creating you know, that layered kind of feeling that you see on that tree. And then she's done a lot of hand stitching also that you can see in the background towards the top. Okay, this next one is one that I did and I call it Ancient Stone and it's 27 by 37. And I had created this piece of ice dye fabric and I was just determined to try and use it in something. And so this is what I came up with. Um, I had a photograph I'd taken of stone that was starting to look like one large stone leaning against another one and pieces were crumbling as they fell off. And I was just really taken with the imagery. And I did lots of machine stitching on this. I didn't do any hand stitching, but really tried to grab a hold of the textural feeling that I felt in the fabric and also the texture feeling you see in stone. Um, this next one is Pharaoh's Map. It's 20 by 24 and it's done by Judy Beaver and she has pulled the black fabric around a frame and then mounted her pieced fabrics on top and she's done some uh, beautiful stitching with um, metallic thread but look at that black and gold and you have the wider strip of it on the vertical and then it's repeated over where the piecing is done and it's a lot narrower and it still just works beautifully. Okay, Mary Stewig did the next piece and this is called uh, Desert Majesty and she loves juniper trees. This is 29 by 40 and um, it's $1,700. One of the things that I find that she does very well is you almost feel like she's painting with fabric because of the way she cuts her shapes. And then she has added some textural pieces in there too, which is really fun to see. And of course, I, I really like the bits of acid green because that's what you see on our juniper trees around here. And this fish is one of my favorites. I make a lot of these fish because uh, 
as a little girl, I can remember it being on the Metolius River and just looking down into the water and seeing rainbow trout. It's not that way anymore. <laughs> but this is Metolius II and it's 15 by 35 and it's $285. And one of the things I always try to do is to really find different kinds of blues that I can use to illustrate the water. Um, the water is so pure in that river and it just depends where the light's coming from, um, what colors you're going to see. Okay, this next one is uh, Whisper Trees by the River. It's 24 by 21 and it was done by Betty Jemke and she created that background fabric. It's a hand dyed fabric and it, you know, it just worked out beautifully, I think, for those aspen trees and the simplicity of this piece on that gorgeous uh, hand dyed fabric just works for me. I think it's really well done and it's $100. And the one hanging below it is was done by Martha Sanders. It's called Making Me Dizzy. And it's um, 18 by 30 and it's 550. And I'll tell you, in trying to hang the show today, I kept want, feeling like I needed to straighten those lines. And she has purposely made the angles in the piece. So it really gets your attention and you want to come up and take another look. Now this next one is another piece that Mary did and it's called uh, Solace Surrounded. It's 29 by 40 and it's 1700. And again, it really captures that feeling of the junipers. And she got in very tight, you know, with her imagery and exaggerated it. Um, but one of the things that works for me is the really light area on the left hand side that has the brighter yellow and it really pulls me in and makes me want to take a look at what's going on right in the center. Um, but there's a ton of movement in that piece. And the next one is called Imagining Spring. It's 18 by 40 and it was done by Betty Jemke, and she does eco-dyeing with leaves. And so you're seeing that beautiful piece of uh, cloth that she eco-dyed, and she's emphasized the images by um, stitching around them. And it, she let a little bit of the organza hang loose at the bottom, and I thought that was a, quite an effective way to work with the, that textile. And this last one was done by uh, June Yeager, Sticks and Stones. It's 31 or 33 by 51 and it's 850. And I actually, June started this in a class she was taking from me. And so it was really fun for me to revisit it when I uh, uh, put it up today. And uh, she's done a lot of machine quilting in the background with tree shapes. And you, you just have the feeling of trees throughout the whole piece. And she has several pieces of dyed fabric that she created herself. And they seem to play really well with that mixture of kind of rich earthy colors, you know, and notice how there's the touch touches of really intense orange and violet and magenta and that helps to kind of move the eye around the piece. So I hope you've enjoyed our show today and that you will maybe have a chance to come by and meet some of the artists on Friday because it will be um, first or fourth Friday and we have a gallery opening from four until six and I will be making some refreshments. So I really hope you can come by and uh, see all of this fun work and maybe you'll get inspired or maybe you really need something new for your house.
Thank you.